13 Action News Update sponsored by Bell Medical. I'm Trisha Keen. Right now on your 13 Action News Update, the Nevada Legislature voted in favor of more than $660,000 to help support children's mental health throughout our state. The money will go to the Department of Health and Human Services Division of Child and Family Services. They will support mental health by utilizing the Children's Mobile Crisis Response Team. According to the governor's office, this will make an immediate difference for children and families here in Nevada. A nurse is recovering after officials at High Desert State Prison say she was attacked by an inmate. They say the inmate used a homemade weapon. The nurse was transported to the hospital around 2 p.m. Monday and treated for wounds to the neck and chest. Officials say the inmate accused in the incident has been transferred to another institution. Metro police are stepping up patrols in local shopping areas. Officers say since Thanksgiving week, they have made 163 arrests, and that includes two people police say targeted large electronic stores in the valley. This enforcement will go through the end of the year. Danny. Much colder temperatures are expected heading into the weekend behind the front that brought the showers on Thursday. The rain wrapping up late Thursday night, the colder, uh, drier air now moving in. That even clears the cloud cover, so a mostly sunny sky for Friday. Uh, but don't let that fool you. It feels really chilly, especially with that light breeze that lingers through the afternoon, really contributing to the cold feel. We'll wake up to temperatures in the upper 30s, low 40s, feeling like mid 30s for some communities thanks to the wind. And highs are capped below the seasonal average. It looks like low 50s for Friday afternoon and Saturday. The real weather headline, freeze watch. That goes into effect Friday night into Saturday morning. Some spots around the valley approaching the freezing mark to start Saturday with those cool conditions taking us into the start of next week. And that was your 13 Action News update. You can always get the latest news at KTNV.com.